Hello, welcome to Nick's Office Corporation. In this video, we will be going over my technical area with my desk and my computer and everything. And you're going to see a little bit on how I make these videos and how I do all this stuff. So let's get started. <clears throat> Alright, so obviously I just got a $35 light up keyboard here. That's what you're seeing. Then I just got a regular plain old mouse right here. Um, nothing special from Logitech. Got a regular Acer monitor. A little old. Um, here's what it looks like. I have Windows 10 running on it. Okay, this is the current look of my computer because I change it every so often. Here's everything that looks like it. All right, now let's go into detail because you're probably wondering why is there that fan on the side of the video if you look. Well, this is my computer. So, yeah. Don't ask me why the motherboard and everything is exposed. I, um, yeah, I had a little problem with my computer, so I, this is the way I had to solve it. Basically, the cooling thing broke, and instead of me buying a new thing, I decided to make my own. A little clever, yeah, but um, it does, when it gets dusty or anything like that, it is actually a lot easier to clean, to be honest, than having a case. Because I just blow the fan out, right, and then I just take the motherboard, wipe it down, and really dry it well, because you do not want to clear on when it's still wet. I make sure everything is clean from top to bottom, then I just put it on this plastic piece, so it's not on my wooden desk. So, this is the desk, it's black wood. Um, so basically I just put it on a piece of plastic that is from the computer. It used to be a laptop that got completely, that got from the trash basically. I basically made it into this. Running Windows 10 has eight gigs of RAM, a 500 gig SSD from Samsung. It's an 850 Evo if you're looking to buy it. Um, also, Samsung is not a sponsoring this video, so I do not have any sponsors on this video. So, to prove that I actually have that much, um, that much right here, I'm gonna type it in. Prove. So if I do this, PC will pop up. So if I type this in the search bar, this PC will pop up. I right click and I click properties. All right. So here's what it looks like. It says eight gigs, right? And it says seven, 759 usable. If I can get the camera to focus. There. All right, it has a 1.3 gigahertz CPU. Always for some reason running around 1.23 gigahertz because of the setup I got. Um, it, this is actually not its information. It's actually a Toshiba Satellite 855D if you want to look it up. But I went in the registry of Windows and changed that. I will make a separate video on that. And I also made my own manufacturer model, put my, I made my own website, put that on, put a phone number on. Um, so yeah, if you look, it says Windows 10. I made my own logo. That was also a registry tweak. I am running Windows 10 Enterprise Insider Preview, which is actually, I have not been able to update because I do not have internet connection on here. So I have not been able to update my computer. Um, long story about that, I cannot share that information, but, um, yeah, just don't go internet. So I've been using my iPad to do these videos, that's why camera quality not that great, um, looks not that great, uh, I really try my best with the iPad, but there's some things that the iPad can't do, so when I'm video editing, I have to use iMovie, which is not the best compared to my computer and as soon as get, I get internet I'll upload a proper YouTube video. I promise that because I know that this does not look good and all my other videos have always been screen recordings but they also were never good so with the mix of the two you can really make it all better and I might actually be able 
make good videos. Yeah. So, um, here's what it looks like. Um, this is a pretty short video, so I guess I'm just gonna go over Windows 10 because I don't want it to be such a short video because then I don't really have any content. So, let's get started. So, here's what you're seeing right now is the desktop. I go down to the lower corner, obviously, it's your start menu. If I go into settings, obviously, it's just your settings screen, right? I have this in the dark theme, by the way. If you're wondering how to do that, you just go to right click anywhere on your desktop, personalize. Your settings window will come up, All right? Then you're going to go over to theme, if I'm not mistaken. Scroll down, no, it's not here, so it's colors then. I get the two mixed up. All right, you can just choose light. Here's what, give it a sec. Um, there, here's what light looks like. If I go in File Explorer, um, here's what it looks like. By the way, the look of this is completely different from what is new with the latest build of Windows. They are now looking at releasing an entirely light theme or even your start menu and everything is all light and then you get a default windows background and all that. But I don't have that build because of the no internet connection and lack of update. So basically my update will expire on 12, 14, 18. And right now it's 12, 4, 18 at the time of the recording. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm kind of in some trouble there. Um, also, Here's your search box for like anything. Also Cortana too. Um, File Explorer, if you have it in the dark theme and you're still on this build of Windows, here's what it obviously will look like. I have two drives. One is the C drive. The other is a file drive with all my files in it. Probably wondering why is it such a small amount? I'll expand it as more files come in. So as this fills up, I'll be definitely making that bigger. But I start at a small amount, so I don't take up too much disk space as my main drive because it's not a separate drive, it's still that one drive there. So yeah, um, if you go over to this, we'll only come right here where my mouse is. That's the Action Center for Windows 10. This pops up. So here, um, you can see all the stuff. My stuff is all outdated because I'm not updated in quite a while. Probably wondering, well, where's all your programs? Well, if you go up to here, this is called All Items, and here I have something called System Folders and Programs. Here you can access, I, I'll check all my stuff in. This is how you access it. If you're wondering what this one is without the name, there. This is actually a master control panel that you can look up the string for the. It's actually a file folder and you can look up a string online called Godmo dot and then a bunch of random layers and numbers you can look up in Google um, and then just put that in and then you get this so this is what it looks like basically you have full access over everything that you can do in your computer I find it very useful for what I do because I'm always on the computer always doing something techy whatever it is so I always have that so I can actually work with my computer and change it. If you're wondering, well, I didn't see a lot of programs in there. That's because I recently reset in my computer because it wasn't running right, so I have actually no programs. It's just all files I made. So I made like, um, if I go into file folders, right? The file drive, right? And I go into Nix Office, file redirection owner I'm gonna have to hide my name so alright okay back sorry I have to find my name there so here you go if I go into documents and I go into Nix Office website files here's all the files from my website that I make so um here you basically got all of it so if you look here um there it all is. so 
So yeah, if I go into index.html, and this pops up, here it is. Alright, um, here's our website that we've re reviewed. If you're probably wondering, if you go to my website, nixofficecorporation.dx.am, it does not look like this. It, it's just basically a very basic, very ugly looking website. This is what it's supposed to look like. The lack of internet, I've not been able to upload it to my web filtering service. Not my web filtering service, uh, my web hosting service. So here's what it looks like, right? Has a picture on my computer. Um, this is when I used to have all those items not in one central folder. It was all on my desktop, and I decided to organize it into one folder. So, um, there's an about page, contact us, a downloads page. Here I'll post all my links to a download. Here it is, our latest X lineup uh, account. You can log in or sign up. By the way, you don't even have to do it. You can just bypass it and it shows a dashboard of just stuff you can buy from us. And all this does not work really. I haven't really finished the website. That's why. I, that's an, also another reason why it's not online. Um, if I go over to staff, um, when I say we, I have my friend with me all work. So if you look, it says here. I have my phone number hidden. That is a contact email if you need to have questions or something. And there's everyone else on here. Um, so basically, that is a little bit about it's all this corporation and the setup I've got, and also um, my website and my operating system and how I would do things around here. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. And it really helped me if you subscribe to my channel. I am at a very low number very embarrassing low number of 11 subscribers so if you could if you view this video and you're not a subscriber please subscribe thank you